Hey there, welcome back to Firefighter Safety Tips. Today, tonight, we're going to do chocolate chip cookies at my house. Firefighter chocolate chip cookies. Guys love it, girls love it at the firehouse, and uh, most of all, my family loves it right here. So, I have my little guy right near me, he'll be coming back and forth, so you might see him, and uh, this is just nice water in my hair, so don't worry, it's not sweats or anything like that. Uh, let me go over some of the ingredients. So, chocolate chip cookies are really easy. There's the wet and there's the dry. This is Aiden right here. He's the dry. Uh, so, you want to put all the dry ingredients in one bowl. So, magically, we have three cups of flour. Now, if you don't have flour at your house, you can use Belgian light crispy yummy, yummy. mix. That could work. It, it, it could work. So, just trust me here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put the flour in here. It's going to make a little bit of a mess. Okay, maybe not. Uh, so, dry ingredients, right? So, then I'm going to put one cup of white sugar, just white sugar. You can use uh, sugar cane, pure sugar cane, C and H. It's amazing. Put it in right in there. If you have diabetes, maybe skip it. Okay. So here's the dry. Now we forgot one last thing right here for dry. Baking soda. Yeah. Baking soda or baking powder? What do you think? Let me uh, just confirm. Let's confirm I got the right ingredients. It is baking soda. So remember everybody out there that baking soda, if you use baking powder, it might change your whole look of the outcome. So that's right here. So what you want to do right here is just whisk this up. These cookies take, they're super fast and like this guy eats them just as fast right beside me. So he sure does. So you just whisk it up, kind of just mix it so it's kind of nice and even there, okay. You always want to mix the dry before you mix the wet, otherwise what happens? All the wet stuff is on the dry stuff and it's a big bloody mess. So okay, so let's go with the wet stuff. The wet stuff, we have we do have brown sugar, which is dry. This is one cup of packed brown sugar. Boom, right in there. Looks like a looks like a mound. Okay? Then we have butter. Here is butter. This is two sticks of butter. Right? Yeah, two sticks. So I'm gonna put all that in there. Yeah. Butter is better. Better is butter. Although, I mean, is it? Okay, so, like yeah, it kind of does. So what it does is you don't want to put, like, there's two ways of looking at it. You could softly melt the butter, or you can put it in the microwave. It does change the look of the outcome of the cookies. I'll show you what I'm done. So here's vanilla extract right here. You can use any type you want. I like pure vanilla extract, real vanilla extract. I don't like the uh, synthetic made-up stuff. So they say uh, two uh, tablespoons two teaspoons of vanilla extract, okay? But what I do is I do it by sight. So what I do is I go like this. Sometimes a little more, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so that's two right there. What I do is I start moving this around. You want to whisk this up. Whisk it so it's nice and mixed. Before you put the eggs in there, because you don't want to have like hot butter, because what, what does it do to the eggs? That completely cooks the eggs. So right here, you just whisk it up. They usually say like 30, 40 times. No, you don't need to do that. You just go look at your son and say, okay, you hungry? He goes, yeah, okay, well, that's it. That's all I have to do. So right here, excuse me, buddy. It's right here. I get the eggs. Boom. One egg. There's one there. Sure if the shell gets shell in there. That's right. If a shell gets inside of there, what do you do? You just cook with it, right? Just kidding. If there's a little bit of a shell in there, you take the shell out, you put it in the garbage, and you say, adios, amigo. Okay, and so now let's finish up the wet stuff. So the wet stuff, I'm going to just whisk it right here like this. Whisk, 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 until it's all good, okay? So this is super simple. Like I said, dry ingredients is three cups of flour, one cup of white sugar, baking soda. That's one teaspoon of baking soda, right? Whisk the wet up, which is... One cup of brown sugar. Baby nickel. Yep. Two eggs. Doesn't matter what type of eggs you want to use. Two sticks of butter. Vanilla extract. So now what I do is I put the dry with the wet. It's all ready to go. So dry with the wet. Yeah. Yep. This is where the magic tends to happen. Yum, yum, yum. 
Yep, that's right. So the dry is now in the wet. Now they're married. Congratulations. So what I do is I just whisk this right here. And then we're going to put it in the chocolate chip cookie. So the dough is ready. So the dough is ready right here. We're ready to put in the chocolate. Now watch this. This is where you sprinkle all the chocolate inside of here. So I want to make sure I get all that dough off. Dough ready all over me. Okay. Um, so now the chocolate. You can use semi-sweet. You can use dark. This is milk. Garandelli. Very good. Now, there's also uh, Toll House and a whole bunch of other ones you can use. I'm dumping the whole bag in there. We're making this rain. Okay, so we're going to put all that in there. And then after that's done, we're going to mix it. So I'm going to get a spoon. If I have a spoon, it can be a small spoon. Just go like this, go around. Mix all that chocolate inside of there. Eat it. There you go. Come here. Get all that chocolate inside of there. There you go. Chocolate. Yep, that's right. Yep. Maybe not around here, okay? Yeah, the chocolate's almost already here. So this is the dough with chocolate chips. And now we're going to basically put it right on the pan, and we're ready to go. In fact, if you want, you could add a little more chocolate. But I use the whole bag. This is... Toll House. I'm going to put a little bit more in there just to sprinkle. Because you know what? What makes chocolate chip cookies so good? The dough. The chocolate. Chocolate and the dough. So, okay, this is all finished right here. What I'm going to do is now, guys would always tease me at the firehouse because I make cookies really, 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 really gigantic, right? And there is a technique to make them smaller. You could use. Uh, ice cream scoop, you could use, let's see, a spoon, but you know, honestly, I just use my hands. So I go like this, go just a little, little ball, and put it right on here. Boom. Little tiny ball right there. Do the same thing. You can get the spoon just to form it, and what you do is you put the ball right on the pan. I'm going to show you what it looks like in just a second here. So... As I do that, and when I'm done, and these things are cooked, they are going to taste good, and they're going to look good, and it's going to make your mouth water like my little son's mouth, who's always hungry. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Okay. So far we've got six made. This right here, this batch, will make up to 24. 24 cookies. So even if my cookies are as big as they are, we can make up to 24 cookies. Okay, here we have it. We got the chocolate chip cookies. We have 12 right here. We're gonna put them in the oven. This is our our mix. We have plenty to make about 12 more. I don't want to make all 12 tonight because uh, I'm going to eat all 12 tonight. So let me go ahead and pop these in the oven. And in about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, we'll be ready. because my family likes it that way. It's kind of crispier. So uh, you could do that if you want, or just use a little more flour, a little more baking soda, 
If you use a little bit more baking soda, I use one teaspoon, that'll actually make it rise more too. So basically in that dry part, just get the dry part, whisk it, you know, dry first before wet, and do that. But the cookies, here's like a mound of cookies right here, right, for my family to eat. And the other ones are over there kind of just cooling off. So thanks again for joining. Tune back for next time. Join my channel. And thanks again. Take care.